Backwards, so I, I don't know exactly what's happening, but um, I, I'm gonna have to start making up my own or taking submissions or like subscribing to a joke book club. Although Did you so have what's that? Dad joke the calendar last year. Yes, that's what I need. I need a dad joke calendar. to get across the body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty. They're pretty bad, but I'm actually seeing the same ones over and over again. So I think we all think. There are millions of dad jokes, but actually, they're just so bad that it feels like there are millions of them, and there's not that many. <laughs> so today we have a series of cat jokes and dog jokes. <laughs> that's, that's what that's what we got today. All right, knees. So we're gonna wake up the knees like this. I know we're skipping around. We're not going from top to bottom. I'm just I'm wild like that. And I got a new warm up for us today too. A new, ex a new wow. exciting warm up. I know. I know. It's so exciting. Yeah. Whew, man. Exams, crazy, huh? Damn, I'm not cut out to be a student anymore. It's, you know, sitting, I'm sure you guys also experience it, like sitting at home and working all the time. I don't have an office chair here. There's like a whole new thing, and I'm all like achy and crooked and stuff. And I'm like, I'm too old to study. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I can't physically yeah. handle it. Okay, um, ankles, so we're gonna do ankles. You can do wrists while we're at it. Yeah, I finished that grad certificate program. Tomorrow is my final. Wow. Then uh, I'm an idiot and I signed on for the rest of the masters. So you did a couple of years. You did sign up? So and you're not on my plate, so I thought, you know. Wow, crazy, crazy. Yeah, well, it's okay. You have it. You're a couple years younger, so you can you can manage it. <laughs> well, we had to go to the exam hall to actually write our our answers. My hand was hurting, and I was like, I'm literally too old. Like I, I feel like I have like arthritis in my thirties, like writing exams. Thankfully, I don't think you'll have to do that. It's a weird British thing. I don't think they do that in the U.S. Okay. Oh, should we do yeah. <laughs> All right. Opposite windmill windmill style funness. You, you can mix it up if you want. Like sometimes, sometimes I like to have both arms up and just touch opposite. Sometimes I like to bring one down and one up. I'd like to get wild, you guys. I get really wild with my windmills. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna pretend like a birthday doesn't mean that you get older. So that that's cool. But I have to say that like when you get over like the halfway mark, it starts to seem like really real that you're almost the next decade, right? That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna pretend like it's a fun day where I eat cake, which is almost like every day in quarantine. So. It's a right. couple days, right? Like tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow. Oh, I it was like, oh, it's tomorrow, sure. but I want to pretend like it's just a, a cake day. Okay, so here's the fun new one. Well, first let's do hips because I feel like well my hips are sore. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it's the whole sitting thing. I get a lot of like 
a lot of hip hip stuff happening. Like, I know at least 50% of you have hip things happening, so. <laughs> and the other 50% has a lot of lower back things, so. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, humanity. What is it doing to us? Maybe we should all start running barefoot or something. Isn't that like the cure for everything? Running barefoot? Okay. Go back in time and not play rugby. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this new one is a fun one. So it's like, so you're going to get on your knees, and if your knees hurt and like this doesn't work, then you can put a pillow there um, underneath them. Sometimes I do that. This doesn't really hurt me that much. So you make a big C, and we're basically just going to touch with our lower hand and come back up and then go to the other side, touch big C on the other side. So just touching from side to side. So you can feel like it's both stretchy hip and a bit of core action. So that's why I like this one. This is a fun, fun dynamic warm up. Yeah. Oh my God, bless you. I mean, kazoon <laughs> tight. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody should be uh, making t-shirts now that say it's just allergies. <laughs> Don't be scared. Good, nice stretches. Okay, a couple more on each side. And then you can do whatever you want, and I'm going to show you the circuits, and I'm going to tell you a cat joke. Okay, so you can do whatever you want from here. You can do more wrists, you can stand back up, you can do, I, I would recommend doing neck, neck stuff, because I, yeah, if you're doing any, like, computer work or stuff, like, yeah, it's tight there. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is, um, we're going to do front, front, back, back, side, side, and we're going to keep going on the same one until, and then we're going to switch it. So it's going to be kind of a balancey thing. But also you'll feel the glutes and you'll feel the hip flexors and you'll feel the hip in this one. And then we'll do um, forward, back, and knee down lunges. So I'm going to do them this way. So we're going to step forward, placing the back knee down. We're going to step backward, pressing the back knee down. Forward, pressing the back knee down and backward. And of course, at whatever pace you want. But the idea is to like tap with the knee, not like slamming into the ground, but just tapping, controlled. Um, then we're going to do a push-up row. So you're in push-up. This can be done on the knees or in a plank position, and we're just, we're gonna row with our arm and push up. Maybe start with a push up and then go row. So you're contracting this, this shoulder muscle here. And then we're gonna lower all the way down. We're gonna go for a swim. I'll tell you, touch your right leg, touch your left leg, or touch both legs, and then we're just gonna keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Next one is plank adductors. So um, you can do this in two ways. I'll show you the first way. We're gonna be in, in a side plank, and your lower leg is gonna come up and it's just contracting here, so it's kind of, uh, you're working on your adductor muscles. And then the next, the other version of this would be to lay down and then do the same thing. So if you're not ready for the side plank, that's cool. Then you just do it like this. So it's just, you're feeling it here, these, these um, adding muscles here. Okay, next one is bear crawl. So you're in a bear, you're leaving your legs up. You're gonna do a couple steps back, a couple steps forward, and then just a mini, mini, mini push up. Couple steps back, couple steps forward, mini, 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 mini push up. And the last one is boat jacks, which we've done before. So you're just gonna be in boat, you're going from side, side to side, okay? All right, we, here we go. All right, is everybody ready? And we're gonna do that one twice. So, well, first you need a cat joke. Um, what did the kid, gym coach say to the cat? What did the gym coach say to the cat? Have you paid your annual fleas? Yeah, it's not that great, but it's okay. I mean, I told you today we're getting a lot of cat jokes, so you better better start to like them better now than never. Okay, so we're getting started with the front, front, back, back, side, side. Ready, steady, go. So same leg, front, front, back, back, side, side, and it's like kind of a weird balancing thing on purpose because I like the weird balancing things. Those little stabilizing muscles are our jam. And maybe, yeah, you can choose like whatever arm position you want, if up top or on your hips, that's cool. And you can do it slow too, just kind of feeling whatever muscles, whatever you feel. Last one here. All right, other side, front, front, back, back, side, side. So these are the, the hip and hip flexor and muscles that we need and glute muscles. I'm kind of mixing it up. I'm getting really wild. I'm just a wild person today. I'm going back, back, side, side, front, front. What am I doing? It's wild and crazy. A few more on this side. Make sure you can feel yourself stabilizing through this leg so you're not just falling through. All right, that's it. Next one. So we're coming, we're doing these forward, backward, knee down lunges. So you're, you're lunging forward, back, knee down, lunging back, back, knee down. Ready? And go. Lunging forward. Your hands can be wherever you want, on your hips or on your head, down, and it's as fast or slow as you want. If you want to get like super crazy and you're just like, whoo, that's okay too. You do that. 
or you do it very slowly and controlled, which is also great. Maybe you can feel some like ab action in this. That's possible. All right, we got one more on each side, and that's it. We're gonna switch to the other side. So next side, forward and backward and forward. Good, and this is all about stability. It's all about like ankle stability, a little bit about mobility, mostly about stability. We're happy about that. Doing great, so warming it up, feeling good, giving a little, little tap, doing what we wanna do. Three, two, one, and done. Okay, next one, we're coming down, push up and then row. So we're just sending our elbow up and back, squeezing this muscle in our shoulder. You got five seconds, we're gonna, Come on down to the push-up row is right. Ready and go. Remember, this can be done on your knees. Push-up and we're rowing right. Push-up and we're rowing left. Push-up and we're rowing right. And you can mix up your push-ups. Whatever kind of push-ups you want to do, that's cool. You can do star push-ups or wide push-ups or narrow push-ups. Good, and you're halfway there. So if you want to switch to knees, that's fine. As long as you're um, as long as your form is good, then you can do whatever you like. So we want that straight back, we want the tummy in. When we're doing push-ups, we don't want to be sinking into our lower back there. So whatever you want to do. So you're almost there, you got about five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, done. Really good, that's a hard one. Okay, coming on down to the tummy, we're going swimming, guys. <laughs> Jump on in, the water is fine. All right, we've got about eight seconds, and then we're gonna start swimming. And when you're swimming, your legs are up, your arms are up, and you're swimming, 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 swimming. Ready, go. Okay, swim. Arms and legs, swimming, 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 swimming. I, I see a coach who wants to yell at me. <laughs> swim, left, okay. All right. Swim, 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 swim. Swim faster, faster. Right. There's, a, there's a shark, right? right. Okay. Both. Both, oh my gosh, both legs. Swim, oh, swim, 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 swim. <laughs> No, left to left touch. Okay, swimming, swimming, swimming. Faster. Faster, there's a shark. Faster, swimming, swimming. What? Both. Oh, both legs. A big boat. Swim. Oh, yeah, okay, swim. All right, swimming, 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 swimming. Left. Left. Okay, 10 seconds, guys. Keep swimming. Now we're stop swimming. Right. Right, touch. Five swim, seconds. Swimming, swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Faster. Three, two, one, done. Oh, that coach is mean. I think she might be the shark in the water. Okay, plank adductors. So we're coming into plank. And remember again, you can do this just down. So the bottom leg is coming up. It's a small motion. You don't have a lot of range of motion there, but it's these muscles that you're targeting. For others, let's go. Let's get ready. We're in plank and we're bringing the bottom leg up. So we're just small motion here. Small motion, small motion. If you need to take a quick break, come on down, come on back up. Small motion, adding. Adding these legs together. Last one here, and then we're gonna go to the other side and switch. Other side. Switch, 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 switch. It's always hard. It's always hard. You can be in like a low plank or a high plank. It really doesn't doesn't really matter. Whatever it is that works for you. And you're adding, adding. Take a break when you need to take a break. You're either doing this laying down or you're doing it in plank. You might feel a little ab action. You'll feel a little shoulder action. You're feeling a little inside thigh action. A little adductor action. And done. Good. I know, I work all the weirdest muscles, right? All right, next one's the, the bear curl. So we're gonna curl forward a little bit, backwards a little bit, and give ourselves a mini push-up. And this mini push-up you're gonna feel in your triceps probably. Ready, steady, bear. Couple steps back, couple steps forward, mini push-up. Couple steps back, couple steps forward, mini push-up. So your face is coming towards the ground as you're doing this. So you're really feeling your, your elbows kind of come to the back of your body, so it's a big tricep push-up for you. It's a different, different thing than our normal push-ups. Be your best there. <laughs> or your cutest bear, that's also okay. <laughs> All right, we're going back, we're going forth, we're doing poor little push-ups. We got it going on, you might feel in the abs now, depends what you've been doing this week. Five seconds, four, three, two, rawr, one, done, good. All right, this last one is the boat jacks. Um, not to be confused with boat jacks. Um, so we're gonna be in boat. We're going side to side. Okay, whole body. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, go. So you're in boat, side to side, side to side, side to side. Good, so you're twisting your body. It's much like a Roman crunch when I'm making it a bit, 
harder, I guess, with the legs off the ground. Of course, you can leave your legs on the ground, and if you need a break, do that. So that's your option. And if you want to get wild and just do it faster, you can do that too. You can take it as fast or slow as you want. You're halfway there. If you want to take it slow, you want to concentrate on your breath. You're breathing in in the middle, and you're breathing out when you're twisting. Breathing in in the middle, out when you're twisting. So you can breathe out, and you can really target those deep muscles because you don't have breath in your belly. Not that there's breath in your belly. I do understand anatomy, but you don't have breath expanding you down there. Two, one, done. Really good, guys. Um, that's it for the first one. So we're going to do that again. So you guys are going to hear some cat jokes, and you're going to have a little bit of water. You know, because it's a my sponsor. They, I can't have a class without it, or they'd, they'd be really sad, I think. Or I wouldn't get my check, maybe. Oh, man, that would be such bad news. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what do you call a cat that throws all the most expensive parties? The Great Cat's Bee. <laughs> it's, it's okay, right? That's a good one. <laughs> um, this one's not really funny, but it, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, you could probably even guess it. Um, what is a well-read cat's favorite book? Of Mice and Men. Yeah, Of Mice and Men. Yeah, that's a, kind of an obvious one. Although it might not be your cat's favorite book, but this is this, is this cat's favorite book. Um, okay, let's see. I, I really, I like the theme jokes. Uh, Want to hear a bad cat joke? Just kidding. <laughs> that one's probably my favorite one. <laughs> ah, just kidding. Uh, what kind of sports car does a cat drive? This is a good one. Ferrari. Oh my god. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> yes, a Ferrari. <laughs> Alright, we've got about 10 seconds left. Um, what do you call a cat that gets anything it wants? A cat. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually so accurate, but their answer was persuasive. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Dang it, you got that Ferrari one. That was so good. All right, we're going to stop here. We're going to reset. We're going to get ready. We're going front, front, back, back, side, side. But you can do it in whatever order you want. I was getting super wild. So as long as it's controlled, you're balancing on your own one leg. I'm happy with that. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So go front, 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 back, back, side, side. And you have your arms wherever you want. Back, side, side, back, back. I don't know. I'm just getting so wild. Yeah, and you can play around with like, how does it feel like if you do it slower and higher or faster and lower? I'm like, oh, look at that, that's cool. That's cool, part of, part of this is, the idea is like, also body awareness, right? Like when something hurts or doesn't hurt. Switch the other side, front, front, back, back, side, side. So it's good if we can like recognize our muscles and the way our body works. And then when we go to do other things like weightlifting or rugby or wrestling or running, then we know this is how our body works. Last one on this side, 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 back, back. Good, all right, next thing, we got our lunges. So again, you can try them really controlled. You're stepping forward, knee down, stepping back, knee down, and you go as far as you can go. Ready, steady, go. Stepping forward, knee down, stepping back, knee down, stepping forward, knee down, stepping back. Knee down, good, keep going. You can have your hands up. Might be more challenging with your hands up. You're gonna keep them on your side. Maybe that's more stable for you. So you're trying to really step like right in front of you, right? You're not stepping off kilter at all. Okay, this last one. And we're together and we're switching on the other side, stepping forward and stepping back, stepping back and stepping forward and stepping forward and back. It feels like we should be going somewhere, but we're not. We're just stepping forward and back, keeping our proud chest, thinking about a cat in a Ferrari, a persuasive cat in a Ferrari. Uh, just kidding. All right, last one, done. Okay, next one, push-up row. So you do push-up, row, push-up, row. If you wanna do them on your knees, do them on your knees. I like it, I like it. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Let's go, so you're in push-up position, maybe give yourself push-up and you're rowing. You're really contracting that muscle there. Then you push-up and you're rowing. And your push-up, and your rowing, and you're keeping your tummy in, and you feel good about that. Maybe you're on your knees, that's also great. You do that. If you're on your knees, or if you're not on your knees, your form is good, you're not sinking into the lower back. If you feel that, maybe just reset. See what it's like to do it on your knees. So if you're on your body, if you're off your knees, I think you're pushing probably 60 something percent of your weight. If you're on your knees, 
you're pushing 40 something percent of your weight. That's still a lot of weight if you think about your total body weight. So no need to just suffer through it, right? If your form is bad, change it up. Last one, done. Okay, next one, swimming. So come on down to swimming is right. All right, you got seven seconds. Take a deep breath and get ready to swim. Yeah, this is like slow stuff, it's hard, huh? All right, laying down. Ready, steady, go, swim. Swim, 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 swim. Left. Left, okay. Swim, 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 swim. Left. Left again, okay. Swim, 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 swim. Right. Right, okay, great. Swim. Swim, 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 Right. swim, okay. swim, 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 both. Both legs, okay, good. So we're really reaching out in front of ourselves, really contracting legs and backs. Left. Left, okay. Swim, 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 swim. Right. Right. Okay, good. Swim, swim, swim. Away from the shark skins. You can do breaststroke if you want. Breaststroke. Up, breaststroke. And up. And breaststroke. And, and back to regular, regular legs. So she said both. So both we got two, one, and done. Woo. Nice swim. All right. Next one is the adductor one. So remember, you can lay down and do it. The bottom leg comes up little motions. You'll feel it here. Um, otherwise, you're in plank, okay? Either forearm or just like regular plank. Ready? Go. So here in plank, lower, lower foot comes up. So there's adductor, little adductor muscles. I work all the weirdest muscles, guys, but it's okay because you're halfway there on this side. Yeah, and we're happy about that. We're happy about being halfway there and we're happy about working all these weird muscles. All right, last one here and switch the other side. Woo! Yeah! All these little muscles we didn't know we had or needed until you go to use them, and then you're like, what? Do you guys know that you lose muscle every year after, after the age of 20? It's not like after the age of 70. It's like after 20, you start losing muscle if you don't do something to keep it, keep it going. Yeah, bone density, for sure. Muscle? Really? Okay, done. Good thing I'm only 20. Whew. All right. So, bear curl, tricep push-up. Couple steps forward, couple steps back, and a little push-up. Alrighty, you got four seconds. I'm gonna start at the back of my mat because I'm gonna just bear crawl right to the front. Ready? Go, bear crawl. <laughs> little push up. <laughs> little push up. So, your little push up, if you can keep your knees up, that's cool. And they're just like little pulses, you know? And if you do enough of them, you will feel that in the tricep. You can give yourself two or three. If you don't feel it, go for it. You can, you can do that. Part of it, again, is like stability, keeping your knees up, keeping your back straight, or flat, or long spine, or however you want to refer to it. You got 15 seconds, doing great. Keep bearing around. I'm sure I have bear jokes. They're mostly cat jokes. You can pretend this is a cat. And you got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good. All right, last one is boat jacks. Boat jack. So we're gonna sit in our boat and give ourselves some, uh, well, they're not really jacks, are they? They're more like boat rowing, boat crosses, boat, Roman boats. Okay, Roman boats, ready, go. You're in a boat, you're making it Roman, Roman boat. I don't know if you guys, I hope you don't remember all my jokes because then I can just retell them. So Roman <laughs> soldier, <laughs> uh, uh, well, how did it go? A Roman soldier walked into a bar, held up two fingers and asked for five beers. It's like, I have five beers, please. Yeah, see? Like peace fingers, right? Like five beers. It's pretty funny. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. I'm doing, I don't know, maybe it wasn't that funny. But there are a lot of like weird Roman jokes too. All right, 10 seconds. N not like our today's Romans. All those would be about how delicious the pizza is probably. Or, I don't know, some other, some other delicious thing. Cabernet. Two, one's done. What is it? Cabernet. Cabernet. You guys are done. You're done, you're done with the halfway. So I'm just gonna introduce the second half. I'm gonna tell you some awful jokes, and then we're gonna get started. Okay, second half, it goes like this. All right, same, same marching thing that we did last time, because I really, really like it. Because you can bring your knees up, so we're doing, again, hip flexor stuff. So it's one, two, three, four. It's squat, or it's squat touch, or it's squat touch open to the side. So you have options, okay? One, two, three, four, squat touch, or open, open. I like open, open. You can try something else. Okay, this one, totally different, not a burpee. So you're reaching up, Reaching up, stepping back, bringing right uh, knee to right tricep, left knee to left tricep, and stepping back in and reaching up, tippy toes, contracting these calves, okay? Next one, plank leg pulses. 
So you can be a forearm plank. You can also lay all the way down, but try a little. Try a little on in plank. And you're just bringing the legs up. So you're contracting the butt muscles there. If you want to play around a little bit with bringing to the side, you can do that too. But the idea is more up. Okay, next one, walk out. But this time, I want to try a different walk out. Let's try a walk out with one leg. Just because. Just because it's balanced. Just because it's fun. Just because it's challenging. So you're standing on one leg. You're coming to walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. Give yourself a push up and you're walking back up. Obviously, do whatever you can do. If that doesn't work for you, don't do it. But it's a fun challenge, right? All right, next one, opposite toe touches. So we're gonna lay down and we're just touching. We're gonna touch this time with both hands. So we're gonna touch one side, other side. One side, other side. And probably I'll say legs down, legs up. And we'll do one side, other side, one side, other side with both hands like this. All right, La the last two. So you got a glute bridge, but your leg is going straight up. We're holding it up and then we're lowering it down and raising it up and lowering it down all the time. We're in glute bridge with our hips high, okay? And then I'll we'll switch us. And the last one is double bikes. So it's like this. It's like you're on a bicycle, but your legs are like fused together. That sounds awful. That's totally like human centipede, but that's not what we're going with this. Okay, so we're almost there. You got 10 seconds, just enough time for a sip of water and another, uh, actually I don't have any more cat jokes. You're getting a dog joke. Um, <laughs> All right, this <laughs> Okay, what do chemists, chemists, dogs, do with their bones? Chemists, dogs, they bury them. That's a pretty good one. Right. Yeah, right? And this one I really like too, actually, because I just got my paper back about meditation where I claimed that it doesn't work, but I actually didn't believe that. I just said it to get a good grade. Um, so it says, what do you call a large dog that meditates? And a werewolf. <laughs> and a werewolf. That's really good. You can just see the dog now. It's just been like, mm, yeah, I'm so in tune and so in touch. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're starting with this, this marching. And then, I don't know, I'd recommend this one. I do recommend the, the windmill thing when you're in your squat, but that's up to you. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're starting marching. You're bringing the legs up. One, two, three, four. Squat. So you're squatting open. Squat, squat. You're marching. One, two, three, four four and maybe you're going open and open that's up to you you can also just squat if you want yes it's fine as long as you have your butt back and it's fine as long as your knees are coming up above your waist because that's that's what we're doing here and we're feeling good you can cross opposite legs if you want I, I, I like all the variations as long as we're just moving we're getting warmed up we're bringing the knees above the midline we have a very strategic full body thing happening here good keep moving squatting Opening up five seconds, four, three, two, keep going, one, and that's it. Okay, next one, quiet burpee. So we're just kidding, it's not a burpee, quiet, not burpee. Reaching up, stepping back, right knee, right, right, tricep, left knee, left tricep, okay? Four seconds, three, two, one, pull everybody up on the tippy toes, squeezing, 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 then stepping back, right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep, stepping in. Raising up, stepping on tippy toes, stepping back, right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep, stepping in, raising up, stepping back, right knee, left knee, you know what to do, stepping in, lifting up. See, the slow motions can also be really, really tough when you contract, really contract these muscles that you're focusing on. That's the idea. So we have faster stuff for cardio and just to like kind of fast twitch muscle, fast fast twitch, fast twitch muscles and trying to train different kinds of things. So we've got the slow stuff for controlled, control body motions. All right, last one and done. Really good guys. All right, next one, we're down in plank. You can do it laying down. I would like you to try it in plank if you can. So you're in forearm plank and you're just doing pulses. Ready, forearm plank, go. You're just lifting the left, right leg up, contracting the butt, just lifting it up. Not too much, but enough. Maybe, maybe two feet. Yeah, just two feet. I don't think I have any metric people on right now. I'm not sure, but you can estimate and you can see what I'm doing. All right, last two here. One person, just kidding, done. Okay, you can switch to the other side. Here we go. Good, very nice, very, very nice. I should have made it three feet, so I could have said one meter. That's an easy one. <laughs> All right, keep going, you got 10 seconds, nine, Eight. If you're falling to the back, give yourself a break and then come back up, okay? 
So you can feel it when your butt starts to kind of fall in a little bit. Done. And we don't want that. Okay, you're done. Um, next one, walk out with one leg or just regular walk out. You choose what you want. You just try. It's kind of fun. You see what you can do and you'd be like, whoa, that's weird. Ready? Four, three, two, one, and go. So you're trying to walk out. It means you have to do it slowly, probably. Give yourself a push up. You can do that on your knees if you need to, and your back. I always stay on the same leg just because it's fun, and I'll let you know when we're halfway. Good, and then we're coming on back. So we're going to try not to destroy your living room like I am. <laughs> this is your last one, walking back and then you switch wherever you are. Oh, I'm going to switch legs. Okay, switch legs. All right, I'll try not to destroy the living room with the other leg. With our little fake fireplace, which actually came with wood. I mean, it's a fake fireplace. Why does it have wood? Oh, I'm falling over. Oh, my dear. That's kind of the idea. I wanted to play with my balance, right? So if I fall over, that's the idea. All right, last one on this side, and then you're done. Woo! -hoo -hoo. All right, so we're gonna come on down, come onto our backs, and we do opposite toe touches. So we've got both legs up, and we're gonna reach from side to side, okay? You got five seconds. I'm just ready with my legs though. Three, two, one, go. So you're reaching from right to left. See if you can keep your legs straight, if that's a possible thing. If you're reaching from right to left, keep going. You might not be able to touch your toes. I can't touch my toes. So maybe, maybe some people can, maybe they can. Okay, lower both down, bring them back up. Do it one more time, lower both down, bring them back up, and then go back, touching each side. Side to side. Yeah, we like the side stuff, right? Okay, I do. A Ferrari. There are a lot of animal puns. I mean, we had an investigator, what do you call an alligator in a vest? That was a pretty good one. You got 10 seconds. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Nine, just kidding. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Super, super good. All right. Next one is the leg up and down glute bridge. So we're going in our glute bridge and then we're going to lower the leg and raise it back up. And then I'm going to switch us to the other side. We got four seconds. So enjoy those four seconds. We just got this one and double, double bike. Okay, here we go. You're going to glute bridge, right leg up, lowering it down, right leg up, lowering down. So you're really rooting through that left foot there. Keep going, lowering it down and back up and see how that feels. See where it feels hard. Maybe lower down and find that position where it feels really hard to hold it and hold it for a second. And then go back up. And then you're just having fun with the right time to switch. Other leg, rooting through the right leg, left leg up, lowering down, raising it up, lowering down. Maybe pushing harder through that right leg, really contracting that right glute up and down. Hips are high, up and down. I can't see my clock, but I'm pretty sure we have like 100 more minutes. Just kidding. Three more of these, two more of these. Last one, good, and just come on down. So the last one is double bite. So it's unlike human centipede, which is great for all of us. So it's like your legs are fused together and you're bicycling, you're bicycling like this. Ready, and go. So you're, you can, can either be on your forearms or you can be on your hands, but the idea is maybe go slow if you're not feeling it, because you will feel it if you go slow probably. So you're bicycling, bicycling, really weird bike. It's a really weird fused bike, but we like it. Maybe if you're feeling like really crazy, you want to try it without any hands at all. You're like, look, mom, no hands. She's like, put your hands back on there, <laughs> crazy kid. <Yeah. laughs> All right, 15 seconds, doing great. Loving this, loving this double bike, loving this slow movement. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. So good, you guys. We only have one more of these. We only have one more set, which means only one more big opportunity for jokes until we cool down, you know? All right, I'm starting our break. We've got one minute. What do we get here? Well, we got a werewolf. That was pretty good. Oh, I like this one. Okay, two muffins were sitting in an oven. <laughs> two muffins were sitting in an oven. It's not a tongue twister, it's a joke. Um, well, <laughs> one turned to the other and said, wow, it's pretty hot in here. And the other one shouted, wow, a talking muffin. Ah. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just got a look, a look from the side. What the heck kind of joke was that? <laughs> anyway, um, um, this one is also not funny, but kind of cute. What do you get when two giraffes collide? A giraffic jam. 
<laughs> and this one is actually really true and everybody should take note. <laughs> My email password has been hacked. That's the third time I've had to rename the cat. That is so true, right? Like, because everybody's passwords are like their dog or their cat or their like firstborn because everybody loves the firstborn or, you know, whatever it is. All right, guys, are you ready? So we're gonna do squat marching and then like opening up or just touching. So we're, we're marching, 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 and then we're touching. One, one moment. Mm. And I'm so wild because there's sun here and cloudy Scotland is a beautiful, gorgeous spring Scotland. So I'm super jazzed. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you're marching, you're marching, you're marching, you're marching, you're marching, you're squatting, or you're opening up, or you're doing all of those things, or you just, you just like doing this, or you just like touching, or you like bringing your knees up. You choose your favorite part and you do that a million times. I was just kidding, this is the last time. So you make it count, you make it count, make it count. You touch in, you maybe touch the opposite side, you're doing really well, halfway there. Well, we're halfway there. Okay, keep going, touching and marching. Maybe I should get a shirt of like all different types of celebrities. So then I have options for different types of celebrity sponsors. So I got Bon Jovi shirt, you know, to go with my David Hasselhoff shirt. Somehow it doesn't seem to go together, but you know, five, four, three, Two, one, and on. All right, quiet burpee. So we're reaching up, we're stepping back, right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep, and coming back up, okay? So we got four seconds, three seconds, two, one, really, everybody up, tiptoes, tiptoes reaching up, and stepping back. Right knee, right tricep, left knee, left tricep, stepping in, raising up, really contracting, stepping back, right knee, right tricep, Left knee, left tricep, stepping in, rising up. Hands down, stepping back, right knee, right tricep. Left knee, left tricep, stepping in, rising up. Way there, whoa. Okay, keep going. Keep going on your own, your own movement. Maybe you're doing it faster or slower. Maybe you wanna jump, that's okay. You can't, oh. you, know, you can take the jumping out of the class, but you can't take it out of the practitioners, right? All right, doing great. Five, four, Three, two, one, and done. Really good. So come on down. We're gonna do our plank leg pulses. So hopefully you're in forearm plank and you can just raise up the back leg. I said like two feet, that seems like kind of a lot. Let's say like one feet. Let's say like 16 centimeters, okay? One feet, one foot, jeez. How do I not feel all my classes? Okay, come on down, you're in forearm plank. All right, go. You're lifting the right leg. Lift, 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 lift. Thankfully, I don't have to do mathematic conversions in my course. I did have to do quite a bit of statistics. Probably should have phoned a friend for that. Okay, keep going. You got about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Five. Yeah, keep going. Feeling good. Feeling great. Very nice. So make any modifications that you need to do. I have a bum toe, so I always do a little bit of weird stuff. Don't pick up on that. Don't do what I'm doing. Three, two, one, and done. All right, very good, very good, very done. All right, walk out with one leg, all right? You choose your favorite leg, and then don't use it. And I'm trying not to destroy your living room. We got four seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So you choose your favorite leg. If that works for you, if that's something you can do, try it. See how it goes. And walk it back up. Walking back up is the hardest part. Walking out, it's not so bad. Oh, uh, walk out. Okay, really nice. Walking back up. I wonder if there's a, such a thing as a one leg clapping push up. Should we try? No, oh, there is. Okay, keep going. All right, switch the other leg. You got your other leg up, you're walking out, you're trying not to destroy your guest room, living room, office, bedroom, kitchen, whatever it is that you're working out in. Oh, lift it up. We are loving this, loving this. Doing great, guys. Doing great. Keep it going. You're walking up. Yeah, this is this is tough. This is fun. All right, this is probably your last one. So give it a good shot, and then walk on back up. Good, and you're done with that. Really good. Okay, so we're gonna we are going to lay down, and we're gonna do our opposite toe touches. Lay down, feet up, and we're gonna touch side to side, side 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 to side. Three three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Go side side. That's low impact. Still interval training, right? So we're reaching side to side, keep going. Straightening those legs, me included, all of us. Straighten, straighten, 
Straighten, doing great. Touching and lower the legs. And bring them up. And lower the legs again. And bring them up and start touching. Side, 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 side. Feeling great, feeling happy, feeling proud of ourselves for doing this before our weekend. Woo! All right, lower the legs. Bring them back up. Keep touching, you're almost there. Eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. So very good. I am so proud of you guys. Okay, so now we got this like glute bridge thing. So we're going in glute bridge and we got one leg up and then we're lowering it down and then we're bringing it back up. You got four seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, glute bridge, right leg up and lowering it down and bringing it up and lowering it down. It's like you're really messing with the boats underneath your bum or whatever this like bridge is. It's your own bridge. You're very powerful. Keep going. You're so powerful. You can name your child X dash A E. Never mind. All right, switch the other side. Left leg up and lowering down and up and lowering down. Maybe he could sponsor our class. Down and up and down and up. And down, you're going 10 seconds. So really rooting through that right leg, maybe tightening the glute a little bit more, lifting your hips a little bit higher, still lowering down and up. Maybe you sunk a little bit, push through that right leg again, pushing up and done. Okay guys, one more and that's it. This is our not human centipede, double leg bicycle. We're gonna, we're going, we're, we're bicycling. We're, we're riding that bike. Maybe it's a tandem bike. Maybe you wanna throw your BFF or your partner or your cat on the back. Ready, let's go, ride that bike, ride that bike. You're just riding. You're, you're either chill riding through the park or you're riding like you're late for work in Amsterdam. It's up to you. But you got a weird bike nonetheless. <laughs> no matter how you, how you cut it, this is a weird bike. That would be a really hard bike to ride. <laughs> okay, we're halfway there. Keep going. Good. You can try different positions. Nice. Good. All right. You're well over halfway there. You got 15 seconds left. You're feeling happy. This is your last one. So maybe you want to try, what's it like if you stretch all the way out and bring it in? Stretching all the way out in this weird bike. Stretching all the way out. Bringing it in. Five, four, three, two. Don't quit on me now. One, done. So good. You guys, that was great. Excellent job. I'm very, very proud of you. We are finished in exactly the right amount of time. We got about three minutes left to do our stretches. So we're going to do right arm across the body. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I have any more dog jokes for you. I'm sure there are a million, probably a lot of pub jokes. I'll have to look them up for you. I don't know, I don't know why they're always, they're always purebred jokes, but I do have more jokes for you, just not that kind of joke. And probably have rerun jokes for you. Um, like, well, this is, yeah, I don't know about this one. It's a, okay, you guys, how about this? I know it's not a good joke, so you can boo at it if you want. Okay, switch to the other side. Remember, we're holding for 12 seconds on each side, okay? What do you get when you cross a fish with an elephant? Swimming trunks. Yeah, I mean, you, I said you could boo. It's okay, I know that. So hold it here for one more second. And just see if you can isolate that part in your shoulder where it starts to feel good, or maybe it's just me. So you're kind of like pushing against your arm a little bit, and your shoulder blade starts to come out a little bit, and it feels really good. It should feel really good. Okay, switch um, over the top this time. Good. I think, yeah. I think, so this is week six or seven. No, I don't remember. But I think we should do a recap of all the best jokes, which definitely include Labracadabrador and uh, Uno Dos Poof. Yeah, and well, maybe we can have a vote. We can, we can vote on which are the best. So switch to the other side. This one doesn't feel as good to me, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I can see it. I can see it. All right, shake it out. Big stretch up. Reaching, 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 elongating our spines. So just too city. And folding forward. And feeling good and happy. Guys, we're gonna do yoga tomorrow at 10 PST, one EST, six, UK, seven, Europe. <laughs> I'm getting really good at time zone conversions. So you can join. It's, a, it's gonna be a birthday birthday yoga class. Probably it's, gonna be, probably it's gonna be really weird. Probably I'm just gonna wake up and feel really weird and it's gonna be a weird class, but I promise you'll stretch out and you'll feel good. And that's, that's what we want. Okay, cross the left leg over the right leg. If you'd like to bend the knees, do that. I like to bend the back leg, the right leg and then I can feel kind of a stretch in my lower back. That might feel good for Monica. You can kind of feel it in your right 
sacroiliac joint. All right, give it another five seconds or so. And now that school's almost done, guys, you got, you're going to have a super anatomy nerd on your hands. I'm going to be reading all the latest research and data on exercises and bodies. All right, rolling back up, switching right leg over left leg. So you're going to have, you're, you're going to be inundated with too much scientific information. I, I just, I don't know. I just want to give you, want to give you as many facts. You know, and anyway, they're just facts until they're not facts, right? <laughs> That's how science works. They're just facts until they prove otherwise. Oh, that feels good. I can feel it in my left SI and I can feel it in my right IT band, which feels great. I have been running up hills. Okay, guys, that's basically what we have time for. I don't know why it took so long. I guess I had such good jokes, but you can continue to stretch it if you want. If you want to do some of that stuff again, you can do yourself a little bear crawl, a little push up, little side to side toe touches things. I hope to see you tomorrow. I'll definitely hope to see you next week. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and a lovely weekend. Ciao. Oh, love you. Love you too. Bye, guys. Ciao, guys. Love. Much love. See ya.